Ikke vel snutt kommer om 12 minutter. Og i den tiden skal vi se en ny film. En kort film, altså. Han heter Høye Bølger og er av Jenny Wilkes. Og her møter vi en flokk spreke eldre damer som dreg på utflukt. En av de har med seg den tilbakestående sonen sin. Eller er han kanskje ikke så tilbakestående likevel? She's with a man. She's brought a man. He's like a young Alan lad. She's trash. I've seen her on the market. Works for the butcher. She's got a nice cut of meat there. <laughs> this is Joe. He's my son. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. They can have number six. And any notion of rooms for us? Or are you going to make us sleep on our feet like blessed horses? Not before you've had your oats, darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting shells for my friend. She makes necklaces from them. Mm. Friends are nice. I don't have many friends on account of Joe. Oh. They brought him back in a bread van one day. He'd fallen down with a clot on his way to work. Brought him back with all the cream cakes one morning. They laid him on my sofa. And the doctor said the clot could strike any time. Working its way to the brain, it was. I looked at him, lying on the olive green draylon, and I thought, he's all I have. I'm not letting him go to a clot. Is it time you went to the lab? <laughs> We're going to the toilet. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> Joe and me like an early breakfast. We will Joe make a one for Alice. Come on. <laughs> We're not too going on all the others. You're all right, though. I've been up for hours. You do look a bit tired, Alice. Having trouble sleeping? My mattress has a terrible sag in it. Enjoying the verbs? It's rashes. I asked the manager if I could change beds, and he said there wasn't another room left in the hotel. Mm. I get it. The early bird catches the worm. Oh, you're soft. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Good mattress, Alice. All this fresh air and a nice hot toddy. You'll sleep well tonight. I've got an electric heating coil for making hot toddies. You plug it in the shaver socket. We've got a shaver socket. At home, you know, I sleep on two mattresses. On the same bed? Yes, it's so much more comfortable. I've never heard of oh, I think it is you're making a show of yourself, Doris Moore. He's closest of an age to me. I took early retirement from consolidated foods, remember? Oh, there's a lot to be said for romance. <laughs> if I was a lady, but then I'm not. <laughs> I met a rose, a lovely rose, who stole my heart from me. And oh, the joy, the blissful joy, my rose then brought to me. It did not last, how could it be? My very heart was torn. Another rose entwined my heart and held me close to home. She's ruined him. Oh, no. She must stick with him. The clot could strike at any time. I don't believe a word of it. And now we're going to the toilet. <laughs> Enjoy it! Your man's gone to see Alice. I thought I'd come and keep you company. I was asleep. Mother gave me a pill. Hey, why are you latched on to her all the time? You cold? <laughs> Bloody frozen. You better get in. My mum sticks by me. You're a fast operator, I must say. I'm not that sort of girl, you know. I'm only coming here to get warm. Your mum seems a good sort. I'd say she's the most unusual woman. You know, the way she stays with you, thick and thin. She has to. The doctor says so. Oh, poor Joe. You're not well, are you? Well, haven't you heard? My mother tells everyone. has a clot working its way up to my brain. I could drop down dead any minute. You'll have to cut out that class of caper for a start. You could wreck your health. My mum's a liar. There was never a clot. There was a body. Doctor didn't want to let me out. Didn't think it was safe. But my mum... She swore she'd never let me out of her sight if they let me go. And the woman was dead. There was no bringing her back.
Nighty night, everyone. Yes, please, ladies. You left a hand for that hussy. Well, you never can tell. It takes all sorts.